If you've been thinking about trying to pick up Nami, well here's a video that you can watch even in Champion Select. Nami is a potent jack of all trades support champion who can easily poke down opponents, top up her allies health pools as well as bringing a lot of crowd control to team fights. Nami is exceptionally strong in lane due to her E giving her AD carry so much more burst. Nami is pretty immobile though as well as being very fragile, she is at risk at getting caught out and bursted down easily. You'll need to be very cautious of your positioning as although you're super useful, you can easily be picked off if you misstep. First off, let's take a look at some runes. Now, although recently people have been enjoying Electrocute, Summon Airy actually has a more successful win rate and is more beneficial throughout games rather than just winning the early game. After Summon Airy, fill the Sorcery Tree for Mana, Ability Haste and Improved Poke. Then you'll want to hit up the Inspiration Tree for Cookies and Summoner Spell and Item Haste, as it's so great once you've got those important support item actives. For your skill order, you're going to want to max W first as it improves its healing and damage, then your E and finally your Q to finish. Now let's take a look at your itemization. Well, the main mythic item to go for is Imperial Mandate. The passive damage bonus is easily procced with Nami's abilities and it provides bonus damage potential for her allies. This makes her so much stronger when she's completed it. For your support item, you want to get yourself Shard of True Ice. It grants you ideal stats whilst also providing vision control through wards. After that, if you're against heavy sustain comps, you could get yourself a Chemtech Putrefier. This means you can invest in an early Oblivion Orb to easily shut down those champions like Soraka and Sona in lane. Arden Sensor is a great option to take when your team has a lot of high profile AD champions, especially hyper carries like Cogmore or Master Yi. Staff of Flowing Water is the AP equivalent of Arden Sensor, so you want to take this if your team has a super potent magic damage threat. For some utility support options, you can get a Redemption, which is actually great as it passively increases your healing done, whilst also providing a strong burst of AoE healing in teamfights. Or a Mikhail's Blessing as this is a pretty safe choice against those champions with heavy CC as you can cleanse your AD carry and keep them alive. There's also a few situational items too, if you're getting killed over and over again you could actually get yourself a Zonya's Hourglass. Or on the flip side, if you're snowballing really hard why not pick yourself up a Magia's Soul Stealer. It's really easy to get stacks through assists with your heals and the more stacks you get mean the stronger your heals will actually be due to getting more AP. So now let's have a look at some matchups and against easier lanes you want to absolutely abuse your advantage. You want to utilise your W and your E to ruin your opponent's day whilst keeping you and your AD carry topped up and healthy. Remember to keep applying pressure if you have a ranged advantage and punish any missed cooldowns with your bubbles. Once you hit level 6 you can single handedly lock down your opponents which could lead to some easy kills. Against harder matchups though you're going to need to hang back and focus on using your W to keep yourself and your AD carry healthy whilst reserving the use of your Q to peel. Once you reach level 6 and level your ultimate you will be able to turn the tides on any engages whilst also using it to disengage to keep you and your allies safe. Your Q and R are fantastic at disengaging from enemy ganks as well as setting up for your own jungler. If you're really struggling though, you can always look to roam and impact other lanes and try to put them ahead instead. When it comes to synergies, Nami works exceptionally well with champions who can easily proc her E in trades. Lucian is definitely the obvious choice as he's able to quickly unload his damage and when combined with Nami's E, it leads to a huge amount of burst. Nami also has a fair amount of appeal so she works well with most hyper carries. So in the laning phase you want to try and abuse your opponent as much as you can by utilising your W to harass whilst also healing yourself. Your E is one of the best early game burst and trading abilities in the bottom lane, especially with champions like Lucian who can proc it easily. Be sure to play aggressive with it in those early stages. Remember to utilise your level 2 and level 3 power spikes as much as you can as having access to your 3 basic abilities will allow you to dominate lanes. When you reach level 6 and get your ultimate this gives you a ton more power in lane. Remember to use this in conjunction with your Q to lock down your opponents and grab some kills. In team fights though, you're going to want to stay with your team, allowing you to easily peel for them, as well as keeping them healthy during fights. Keep your E on your AD carry as much as possible, and throw out heals and bubbles whenever you can. Make sure to ward major objectives around the map, but be really careful doing this on your own, as you can easily be picked off and bursted down. Watch your positioning during team fights. Your healing and your CC is an incredible asset, but keeping yourself alive is the most important thing, so it actually enables you to be able to do this. In the mid to late game team fights, your ultimate is an incredible tool for engaging, disengaging, following up on CC or peeling for your team. It also interrupts dashes and gap closes and can be combined with your Q for tons of AoE CC. Use this wisely to swing those team fights in your team's favour. Let's finish off this video with a few quick tips. You can actually fling out your Q whilst an enemy is knocked up by your ultimate. This not only keeps the target locked down but it's also easier to pull off due to the knockup. This also works vice versa. You can use your E whilst an ally's spell or auto attack is actually in mid flight which then applies the damage and slow. Use this to surprise the enemy in quick trades or in kill attempts. Remember that your W will bounce 3 times whilst alternating between targets. Use this on yourself or a teammate first to heal multiple allies or use this on enemy first to damage multiple enemies within a single cast. That's going to wrap up our short guide on Nami. We hope it helped and take care.